Welcome to my Monster Hunter World Diary, entry number one. Before I get started, I will say that I've never really fully played a Monster Hunter game. I attempted to start one back on the 3DS and had no skills, and was very concerned about sharpening my sword all the time, so I bailed. I was a bit nervous about jumping back in, but I decided I had to try, and now I'll be documenting that journey in this series of videos. First thing had to create a character, and I thought it might take a long time, because while it appeared there were a ton of options, there weren't really that many. In the end, I got pretty close to what I wanted. In RPGs, I usually create a character based on my features, and a little headcanon here decided it's a warrior that's related to me, like a fellow Apache taking on all the monsters. Also, the expressions part scared me a little bit. Then it was on to create my Palico, and I went with a Russian blue of sorts. I decided against making it mean and snarly. My cat was chill. The beginning of the game had a Jurassic Park moment. I was like singing the music in my head. And after that, they did a great job of explaining game mechanics in a nice and easy way. I was shown the world, but not thrown into a fight I couldn't win. Sure, I was running from monsters, but I was basically being shown the world and its inhabitants and knowing what buttons to press. Also, I learned quickly you could hide. I didn't know you could hide, or that stealth was a thing. Apparently it was, and I made a mental note. Sneak is available. In the main hub town, as soon as I was able to, I tried to talk to everybody, like a traditional RPG would let you, but they were kinda not having it. They had like one line for me, and I was like, well, that's actually refreshing. Change of pace. You're not gonna tell me your whole life story, okay. Then it was time to pick a weapon, the thing I had dreaded for a long time. However, it seemed pretty obvious to me that I was going to go with a fast weapon, so I could move around a lot. Be all wily. Those monsters looked fierce, and the last thing I wanted was to be a sitting duck. Dual blades were my pick. I liked the great sword, but it was so slow. I was on the fence with a katana, was real close to that, but it was the dual blades for sure. Then I finally got to head out on my first mini hunt, and I was psyched. I used my very fast blades to cut through a bunch of lesser monsters with the quickness, and felt really good about my ability to roll and dodge attacks. Then I got to cut up said monsters for parts. I know it sounds gross, but it was so rewarding. I also picked up, pun intended, that you can collect a ton of stuff while you're on your hunt. I couldn't help myself. I picked up everything. I mined everything. I had no idea how to use all of it, but I wanted it. When I got back to town, they semi-showed me how to craft stuff, but I didn't really get the whole armor sphere thing. I just did it because they told me to and just used it on something. It took me a while to see how the actual parts of monsters could upgrade my equipment or make new stuff, and then I made some bone blades. And then I realized the cutscene of them making stuff was going to get old fast, and I didn't know how to skip it. Later, I got to take on my very first real monster. I had to hunt him down and collect his footprints because that's a thing. And I had to follow those scout flies, which were helpful, and I heard in other games they weren't available. I can't fathom that. It was actually really late at night, and I kind of almost dozed off for a minute while chasing these flies. Where were they going? I didn't get what they were telling me. But finally I found the huge monster, and after chasing him down a bunch, I took him out. And I didn't die once. I used my health potions, I sharpened my blades with the unlimited whetstone, and collected some valuable parts. So for my first trip into Monster Hunter, I have to say I'm feeling good. I'm still confused about what to do with all that stuff I'm collecting. And I do not get the different things that I collect can somehow do things to my weapons to make them better. But I'm excited to find out. Oh, and I did manage to make a scary mask for my Palico. I wanted to keep my cat cute, but it had better stats. So now I go back into the fray. I'll see you next video.